Culture Thursdays on the Terrace. So this is our final on the Terrace series. This tent actually is coming down. Oh, sad. So you are the you are the culminating act in the tent. And I just want to talk for a quick second about uh, this class. So I'm Alicia Doyle. I'm the interim director of the Bob Cole Conservatory of Music. And when the pandemic struck us on March 13th. 2020 at 3.40 p.m. and we were all were summarily dismissed, I went into uh, a brainstorming mode and I remember being curled up in the fetal position in my office at home like, what can we do, what can we do to give the students something of value while we were on intermission, <laughs> as I called it then. So I had an idea about um, uh, some classes where, you know, maybe GarageBand and Logic Pro 10 and songwriting and I thought, I'm gonna call my colleague Craig Ritchie. And we had a great conversation about this class, and Craig agreed to teach songwriting. And it was enormously popular. Honestly, it should be part of the curriculum. And did you want to say anything about sure. the course? Sure. Very exciting, yes. very valuable, and we shouldn't stand next to each other. Yes, we should. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was a delight to um, try to create a songwriting class, having never taught one before. I've been in songwriters groups for many of my um, during my musical career that's aside from classical music. So it was great fun to organize a class, structured basically like a writer's group, where we were doing writing exercises and I was asking them to write songs and we sort of progressed from the simplest to the most complex songwriting, popular songwriting forms. Um, and the whole point was just to try to inspire creativity and get away from the judgment and not to write perfect songs. Right? Just to write songs and express yourself and you know, it's just another just as another musical form. Another yeah, to and another tool in your toolkit. Yeah. And you invited me to some coffee house events on Zoom, yeah. and I got to hear everybody's song, and I remember Aria's made me cry, of course. <laughs> but um, it was such a really, really great experience, and I'm really thankful to you Thanks for to that. you. It's wonderful. And it, this, this tradition continues. So would you like to introduce your group here? Uh, I'll let Corey introduce okay. them. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello, hello. My name is Corey Heiberg, and I am a graduate student here at Cal State Long Beach, and I partook in what I think it was described officially as the commercial songwriting class, and I didn't know what that meant, but it wasn't what I found out uh, when I ended up taking, I think my first questions were like, so tell me about copyright law, and, uh, and it's not what the class is about at all. <laughs> and, uh, and some of our first activities in it really were just about spurring creativity and finding ways to um, just generate um, the, the ability to just play music without having to think too hard about it is, is what I kind of got out of it. And I think I was talking to David uh, one day and one of the, we were kind of talking about one of the most refreshing things about the class is, is how much time we often spend as musicians, or at least I spent as a musician, uh, fiddling with all the technical details of how to play and how to articulate and how to just be in tune and all these sort of um, technical aspects of music and don't spend enough time just playing and just you know expressing yourself creativity with the creativity and all that sort of thing so this class really uh, was sort of a, a kickstart for that and as I was mentioning just before uh, my partner Amy uh, had commented after about two weeks of this class, she just never heard so much material come out of me. It's like I had just gotten on this songwriting kick uh, so quickly because of this, this class. So, uh, anyways, what I wanted is there's, I have friends, the, these other mics aren't just here for show, so uh, they'll, they'll be up here in a minute, but I did want to start off with the last two things that I had written for the class. And, and mostly just because they had a few too many corners in them to just kind of do on the fly. Most of the things in the class were like two chord songs and that was kind of the guideline and you could add a third chord in the chorus or something like that. But by the end of the course we had sort of uh, explored different components of, of just general modern songwriting like a chorus, a pre-chorus, a bridge, and all of those sorts of things. So uh, the last two songs, I think this uh, first song had to do with, uh, we had gotten into chorus writing and some of the techniques going on. And uh, it's a song called Happy, and uh, I think I'm just going to play it. So.
yeah, when I grow up, I'm gonna shine with the stars and through the sky. When I grow up, I don't know how, I don't know when, and I don't know why, but when I grow up, I'm gonna be happy. Get up, make coffee, TV, fast talking, inch on. I know I'm gonna think a long time today. It's another work week, payday. Hope I make a rent week. Last week was a bunch of bills that didn't make it anyway. Still don't know all the names of the faces at work. Feel like a jerk, but I got a clock in. Got to get eight hours in. And drive past the school where I was just a kid. I can still hear myself singing. When I grow up, I want to be taller than in all the trees. Yeah, when I grow up, I want to shine with the stars and through the sky. When I grow up, I don't know how, I don't know when, and I don't know why. But when I grow up, I'm going to be happy. Walked out, worked out, hates to make a waste to make another turn to save a random like I exercises that we had is make a prompt of a list, like make a list of things. That's a great way to write a verse or a course. And so I thought of the prompt, when I grow up, what am I going to do? And I just made this list of things. When I grow up, I'm going to be taller than all the trees. When I grow up, I'm going to, you know, like all these sort of childish kind of ideas. And then the verse became the antecedent of that, which is, I got to go to work, I got to make rents, I got to do all these things, you know, and then kept coming back to that course. But all of that, because of these mechanics that we were learning about in this class, I think that I just prompted that song to come out so quickly. And uh, it's what I close all my shows with. Now, professionally, when I go out and do shows, that's like my closing song. So, And I, I go into a fish song, too, after that, but don't tell anybody. <laughs> Uh, so this next song is another one of the end uh, songs that we did where we were compiling all these components of uh, writing a chorus, writing a uh, verse, pre-chorus, bridge, like all these sort of different kind of mechanics that we did um, been working on the whole time. So uh, it's called Moon Balloon Rides. Oh. 
consistently write for five, ten minutes straight, you get this endorphin of creativity that starts to pump out too as you like keep writing that way. And those types of exercises were really helpful in sort of spurning the kind of creativity that came out from these songwriting exercises. So I'm going to start fiddling around with this thing and play my instrument of choice, the bass here. And uh, I'm going to invite my partners up now. We're going to we're going to play the the first song uh, that I wrote for the class as part of an assignment. So Eli Maxwell, uh, David Noten, Nikovich, and Daniel Glickman. Uh, why don't you guys come up here? For You guys want to say anything? <laughs> um, Something. <laughs> I think like I like this song. We're gonna play it. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, just the, this was a really great class. It's like pretty much the reason, like one of the main reasons why I'm actually still here because I had such like a, uh, I guess just unfulfilling in a lot of ways semester last year or like yeah last year and um, I was like thinking about dropping out like every week but this class was like the main thing like keeping me creative and producing music and I was like that was like like the coolest thing like feeling like like that, at least that that's happening and um, so that was like keeping me going 
going and keeping me basically on track and able to like complete all my classes because I was able to get feel like progress made for days. Right on. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, saying hi or yeah, who I am. Okay. <laughs> um, this was one of my favorite Zoom classes just because we we all got to listen to each other's kind of creativity on a weekly basis and um, yeah, I have been I've always struggled, I'm a composer, and I always struggle with writing lyrics, and that was a huge growth experience for me in this class, and I love it. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed the class, too. Um, yeah, last semester I had some concerns about taking too many classes. I was almost going to drop it, uh, but I'm really glad that I did not, uh, because it was a very rewarding experience for many reasons. Um, for one thing, yeah, I've always, I've always written a few songs in my life, but to take a class that actually forced me to write songs <laughs> was important. Um, and uh, it was a really supportive, creative uh, environment, so I, I really appreciated it. And, uh, yeah. Thanks, thanks. So uh, anyways, uh, this uh, first uh, assignment that we had was kind of based on a, on a cue, and the way the, the structure of it worked out was um, you had A, A, B, A as a sort of lyrical structure that happens, and then you have A, A, C, A, and then D, E, F, G, then A, A, B, A, and that's sort of the song structure that occurs with it. So you have a line, in this case it was, why do you make me so shy, why do you make me so shy, blah, 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 why do you make me so shy, and then why do you make me so blank, why do you make me so blank, Da, 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 why do you make me so blank? And then some sort of exposure to the story, and then, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, I took that and I thought, okay, great. And I wrote out some words to it, and I'm very bad at following directions. So I didn't hear the part about it's just supposed to be like three chords, I think. So I didn't know what music to put to it, and I was sort of fighting the music, and I thought, this is silly, this is supposed to be simple. So I just took literally the letters of the outline, and that became the chords of the song. So this chord is A major, A major, B major, A major, A major, A major, so on and so forth. So <laughs> that's, uh, that's what ended up happening. So hope you guys like it. It's called Violet Slide. So, um, I'll just hang on A for a bit and then I'll come in and see. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 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 eight. Yeah. Why do you make me so shy, my Why do you make me so shy? If roses are red, then the violets don't lie. Why do you make me so shy? Why do you make me to stay, my Why do you make me to stay? Your cold heart blows, the wind takes me away.
Right on. So uh, the next song uh, is, I believe, uh, we're going to do one of Daniel's songs, and it's the first one that he wrote. Uh, essentially, the same assignment. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? This is all sort of coffee house. Uh, what do you want to do? <laughs> all right. Well, um, yeah, this one what did come out of a, a prompt. Also, I think the, the prompt was, "You're not going to stop me this time." So I wrote a song just starting from, from those lyrics. And another aspect of this class, actually, which no one's mentioned yet, is that, uh, or maybe, no, I think it applies to everyone. It's kind of therapeutic uh, to, to write songs that you end up uh, uh, delving into your emotional life a bit. And that was, I think, the case with this one. You're not going to stop me this time. Well, I suppose you can all relate to it. I was going through some issues, so I ended up writing it. It's kind of anthemic, slightly angry song. I think the U of the title cycle through like three or four different people in the process of writing this song. But, uh, no one present. Yeah, no one present. Well, the legend. <laughs> for some reason, I wrote it kind of low for my voice or high. But uh, anyway, oh, that's another thing I wanted to mention is. Uh, this class is great for just getting over your inhibitions about singing and in front of people and writing songs, which uh, I'm not used to doing really, or singing with the piano, so that's why I brought my album John Lutz yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you're not going to stop me this time. <laughs> yeah. okay. um, one, two, three. You're not going to stop me this time. I'm gonna be free to ride on and ride. Your music still, your steps out of time. Not gonna stop me this time. I'm gonna do what I want. I'll think my own words and choose my own font. Your mediocre.
So awesome. I, I heard what you did there, that you became me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice stuff. Um, so, <laughs> so this is probably my favorite song. I'm sure I did that I have to think about it. This next song is probably my favorite song that we heard uh, go on. Actually, if I can get you to come play violin with us, that would be awesome. We can do some chucking. This is, uh, this is called Chill of the Morning, and it just begs for a violin doing some chuck, chuck, chuck. 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 Yeah, yeah. And uh, harmonies in it are great and all that kind of stuff. So I don't know if you want to say something about it. I yeah. wrote it. Or um, so this song, yeah. the, um, I struggled with the chorus a ton just to, just to get the. I, I, um, just to come up with the idea for it, so we, we had, I started working on morning pages, and that's kind of uh, the practice of writing, uh, I think it's three pages, three pages of uh, uh, free writing, and just kind of writing whatever we can think of, and uh, that that kind of process came came up with the lyric, a uh, couple of the lyrics that I ended up making my chorus out of, and then um, it kind of turned into a dark song, but um, uh, I like that kind of music, but it's not at all what I'm feeling, it's like somebody else's feelings. <laughs> <laughs>
quite into Tuesday. Do you want to hear this one? Uh, sure. So another. Yeah. I oh, by the way, I, I know what you mean about you became the. Uh, Just a, had a little brain freeze there. Yeah. <laughs> um, this next song was also came from a prompt, I believe. Uh, I'll I'll keep waiting for you was was the prompt we had or exercise we had one day where we were just kind of supposed to pick a couple random chords and write a little a verse with that lyric. Um, and uh, I think there was another exercise we did that involved um, just taking a few uh, different words and combining them into a, a line or something. Uh, so this is actually these two different exercises. I sort of fused them together into this song, which um, Another aspect of this class that's interesting is it, it, you end up writing songs that you might not typically write. Like this one is more of a, a kind of a love song, which uh, the lyrics, kind of lyrics I wouldn't normally write, but they did end up uh, being meaningful to me. Uh, and uh, my girlfriend says it should be a kid pop song. <laughs> Since these concerts were supposed to happen on Tuesday, it would be a great idea to, to expose this next uh, grouping of songs that were all based on the day Tuesday. But here we are, and it's Thursday, and despite we sort of haphazardly tried to change lyrics <laughs> to make it mean Thursday, uh, 
too, too little time to do that. So I thought we might invite you up one more time, Professor Ritchie, to explain the exercise. So this is the Tuesday this exercise. Yes, yeah. and he gave us a prompt. So we had a guest uh, come one day and sort of explain this uh, prompt to us, and I'll, I'll have you okay. describe yeah, it. So, so, yeah. yeah, it's a film composer friend of mine, um, Rolf Kent, that does a songwriters group that I go to regularly, and he, a week or so before, he'll send out a list of five words or short phrases. Um, sometimes a style, like it should be country western or um, Motown, or whatever it is, and anybody who wants to writes a song, and you have to use those words and do it in that style as best you can, and then you bring a lyric sheet with chords, and everybody sits around the table, and you learn each other's songs, and drink wine and eat cheese, and it's a great time. So I invited him to be a guest for the class, and to give them uh, an assignment like he gives us, and you want to tell me what the so the subject was Tuesday, and what are the words? You have to yeah, do? there was no wine and cheese, as I recall. That's true. Not Unfortunately, for us. that was up there. Uh, so I think so. He gave us five words. You know, let's say it was horseshoe, scalp. You had to figure out how to get that into a song, and then um, parfait. parfait. You know, parfait. <laughs> and uh, there was another uh, word. Horseshoe. Well, I already said horseshoe. Oh. So parfait is hard, by the way. Night I had a really good... night market was night the market. other, which is a hyphenated word. So horseshoe, parfait, night market, and, uh, <laughs> and it had to be about Tuesday. It had to be about so, Tuesday. Yeah, the subject. <laughs> yeah. So, and, and, and Rolf, Marvel, that's right. Marvel. That's right. Marvel. Was another Marvel. Word. That's yeah. <laughs> and so the idea is always that there are words that, that that don't belong together, and and Rolf often is to try to get people to be funny, and so my challenge. Um, always to try to not be funny, just to make it mad, and make a really serious, meaningful song out of these crazy words. But um, I love what you all did with them all, so. Thank you very much. Here's so, yes, yeah. Uh, so I think we'll do uh, the one I wrote first. So uh, this is called Tuesday, and in uh, hyphen, it's just another. And I, much, I, I don't know why I wrote it the way I did, but it's just what came out. Uh, I was thinking about uh, Tuesday. I think all of our sort of feedback was that Tuesday is just sort of just another day. It's um, you know it's not particularly meaningful and all that sort of thing. And so I started thinking about people that it was meaningful to, and I started thinking about people who had experienced some sort of great loss, and to people who have experienced great loss, like a loved one has passed on or something like that. Often every day of the week is really hard. And Tuesday might just mean nothing to me, but to someone who's experiencing great loss, Tuesday might be a really powerful day to them. So uh, that's that's what I ended up writing about. We all kind of have our, our different themes that we ended up writing about. Some humorous, some serious, uh, as it's called, as well, that sort of stuff. So that's called a Tuesday. Uh, otherwise, it's just another. Uh. Still get to school. 
many ways otherwise it's just another Tuesday Noon still brings the weather walks and the bar bill left behind feels like a feather It's heavier and heavier Think about little things like how it's gonna get better Whoa, whoa, whoa So we, we didn't want the whole recording to just be So we decided, let's, why don't we move it? And then uh, the night before the next Tuesday that we moved it, I caught a cold. And uh, <laughs> like I thought it was allergies on Monday, and then Monday at 1 o'clock in the morning, I was like, nope, I'm actually sick. And wouldn't you know it? So uh, now we've kind of shifted to a Thursday, which is nice. chance to sort of get together once before and I thought, you know, for all the musical training and education and money and resources that have been dumped into the four of us, it's amazing to me that we need lead sheets for four chord songs. <laughs> <laughs> like, we can't do it without the... This one's actually only three chords. Yeah, three chords. <laughs> we can say, hey, do you have the music? <laughs> uh, so this song is called You Can't Start Anything on Tuesday. Um, because uh, I think maybe I skipped the gym on Monday and then decided that maybe I should go next week. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and the uh, barbell is one of our, our words was also the inspiration for that. <laughs> Bye. 
fun today. I went to get myself a parfait. Tomorrow's the second day of the week. You can't start anything on Tuesday. Maybe I should lift a barbell. Might be nice, I can't tell. Healthy living, that can't be. You can't start anything on Tuesday. Maybe I'll start next week. Procrastination is the way to be. I'll shave my hair down to my scalp. I can't start anything on Tuesday. I could always go for more shoes. Game I think I could do. Always the second day of the week. You can't start anything on Tuesday.
scratching my scalp Sometimes it's hard to get through the week And Tuesday ain't much help Wednesday is suspended in the middle of the week It's a bridge to get you through Tuesday is a bridge to Wednesday That's the best that it can do It's too just such a terrific creative endeavor and as this class uh, crops up again anybody watching I fully uh, recommend that you take it if not I mean we talked about it as like you know it had these effects of stress release and um, fulfillment and those kinds of things but just as an act of um, creative expression and applying musical knowledge I thought it was one of the best classes I've ever experienced in, in that in that mood so thank you very much uh, Professor Richie for Sharing that, sharing that knowledge with you. Thank you. So uh, with that, uh, let's yeah, let's try it out. Let's see what happens. 